30 questions following Friday's deadly tragedy at the Astro World Music Festival. At least eight people were killed and hundreds more injured when the crowd surged as Travis Scott was on stage. We're learning more about the victims. After this song, if I don't just feel moved, I'm gonna have to remove y'all and fill it up. You know what I'm saying? The there is rose gold paddock on my wrist. If I pull up, pull up, is it lit? The 2013 XXL freshman list featured Travis Scott, a new artist from Texas with a unique sound. His mixtape Days Before Rodeo was pushing Travis to be the face of hip hop. But that wouldn't happen until the song Antidote gave him worldwide exposure in 2015. The shift in music at this time marked the beginning of a new era, the beginning of a new generation of fans as well. Fans that will travel across the world to see you perform. Fans that buy every piece of merch or music you release and give you the ability to sell out shows of 50,000 people or more. He quickly built a reputation of having ragers at his show. Almost like a sign of rebellion, thousands would follow his lead. But make no mistake, this type of status doesn't come easy. With this many people willing to buy tickets, this gives you the ability to do things outside the normal range of shows and events, birthing the Astral World Festivals. Named after the original Six Flags Astral World theme park in Houston, the entire festival is themed like a roller coaster park, all based around Travis. They decided on November 17, 2018 to launch the first Astral World show. Performances would be held on two different stages, one titled The Thrills and the larger stage, The Chills. They had water stations, medical staff, and merchandise vendors all around. The event was well thought out. They even had bars and cell phone charging stations. Other artists like Post Malone and Young Thug were even seen at the event. With over 30,000 tickets sold, Astroworld was seen as a massive success, only building even more hype for the 2019 event. In September the next year, Travis announced that Astroworld would be returning on November 9th. This time, they wanted to target a larger audience outside of just hip-hop, so people like Marilyn Manson were even brought out. 2019 saw just under 50,000 tickets sold. Most of them were sold out instantly, and the only way to get your hands on one was to find someone selling their ticket for double the price. 50,000 tickets sounds like a lot, but there were still thousands more fans who couldn't get their hands on them. Rather than miss a once a year show like this, people lined up outside, some trying to buy last minute tickets from others in line. As the event came closer and closer to starting, fans became impatient, and the fear of missing out led to barricades being knocked down as thousands more people ran in the park. Once inside, there wasn't much security could do, so the show went on. Astro World 2019 saw a total of three people injured from being trampled as people rushed inside. The event received some backlash from authorities over this. The Houston Police Department released a statement ensuring the safety of these events moving forward. They even added at the end that they look forward to more memorable nights in the future. Unfortunately, the 2020 festival was canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. To make up for it, Travis Scott teamed up with Epic Games to produce a virtual event inside of Fortnite titled Astronomical. It was a 15-minute in-game show inspired by the Astroworld album and visuals, but a promise for the 2021 Astroworld Festival was made clear. The hype was only getting bigger. On May 5th, tickets for the 2021 edition went on sale. The festival would now take place over two days instead of just one, November 5th and November 6th. Because of COVID canceling last year's festival, they expected a larger audience. They decided to double the ticket sales. Now 100,000 were available. The week following up to the show was being referred to as Astro Week. Even Nike released a Travis Scott exclusive shoe collab to promote the event. The festival was supposed to be the grand finale to finish Astro Week. Houston Fire, police, and paramedics worked closely with the event organizers to anticipate any type of disasters that may occur. They hired double the workers and thought that it would be enough. As early as 3.30 a.m., fans began forming a line for the festival. A worker later revealed over a thousand people were already waiting for the gates to open, seven hours before the scheduled time. By 9.30 a.m., an estimated 45,000 fans had already gathered at the event. Signs of rowdiness began showing as people got impatient. Knowing these type of festivals had been infiltrated before, 
Security tried to keep eyes on the crowd to make sure barricades were not being knocked over like previous years. At 10 a.m. the gates officially opened and the concert goers began rushing in. But for those in the back of the line, they were still hours away from being granted entrance. It didn't take long for the crowd to get out of control and the small fences to fall as people pushed and shoved their way inside. It's unknown how many more bodies were now inside the event that was planned to only hold 100,000 people, but we can expect thousands more leaked in over the hours. By 7 p.m., other artists went live before Travis came out on stage. At 8.30, a 30-minute timer appeared on screen. It was a countdown for when Travis would make his appearance. Fans quickly filled the four different sections of the venue that were surrounded by barricades, leaving only a path in between them for medical and other staff to access. They pressed themselves up against each other. People pushed forward and backward trying to find room as the timer got closer to zero. Some recall it becoming hard to breathe and the compressing got worse and worse, even struggling to leave the crowd once inside. Just after 9 p.m., Travis took the stage. Yeah. I'm Crowds surged forward and the show began. The space is becoming tighter and tighter to the point if you put your hand in the air, there may not have been room for you to put it back down again. Almost immediately, people began to pass out due to lack of oxygen. Within 30 minutes, the ambulance was already being dispatched as injuries were being reported. Fans were passing out and being trampled as they lay on the ground. People began crying out for help, some even chanting the word stop the show, but were unheard in the vast crowd. Travis briefly stopped his performance when he noticed the ambulance making its way through the crowd. He's then seen being approached by two men, but it's unclear what information they gave him, or if they too were trying to stop the show. Travis brushed them away and proceeded to tell the crowd, I wanna make this motherfucking ground shake, goddammit. By 9.38 p.m., a mass casualty event was declared, but the concert kept going. Videos surfaced of fans climbing on stage, begging for the show to end, claiming people were dying in front of their eyes, but staff either ignored their requests or simply couldn't hear them. Around 10.10 p.m., the show finally ended, and even though the music had stopped, medical staff were still struggling to make the way through the crowds. Over 20 people were sent in ambulances to the hospital following the event. The following day, news outlets broke the story as it came to light eight people had confirmed to pass away. Multiple others were also in critical condition, including a nine-year-old who was sent into a coma and a 22-year-old who was declared brain dead. Travis Scott started this in 2018, with what he said were intentions to bring back the beloved nostalgia of the Astral World theme park. Unfortunately, Astral World will now go down as one of the most deadly concerts in hip-hop history, and it's tarnished the reputation it once had. Authorities are unable to pinpoint where exactly everything went wrong as the story is still developing, but it's too late to prevent the innocent people who attended this show from losing their lives. This tragedy of events will undoubtedly change the way festivals around the world will be handled going forward, in hopes that this never happens again. It's the best thing possible. Look at your neighbor. Make sure you give him a hug. Make sure that you always say that next person next to you. Make sure that you always spread it love. The only thing that we do this festival for, and everything that we do for life, is to give back to this community. So I love y'all so much.